faith in God. Perseverance. Yeah. Hey, you gon' make it. Yeah, just keep on waiting. Hey, let that hating be your motivation. Hey, you gon' make it. Yeah, just keep on praying. Cause God can hear everything you say. Yeah. He can hear you, man. Hey, you gon' make it. Yeah, just keep on waiting. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Isaac. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. And if you want to get at me directly, my email address is in the description. Okay, so I know my other projects, we've made videos on them and they started about midways. That's only because that's when I created my YouTube channel. Well, this particular project, we actually get to start from the beginning as far as the art part goes. And I'm really excited about that because I get to take you from the beginning until the end on what we're going to airbrush here. Now, around here, what we did, this is a trunk lid to a Harley trike. And what we did here, as well as all the other pieces on the bike, is we sanded it down with 600. We marked off our areas of how I was going to shape these. I sprayed metal flake all inside here with mixed with inner coat clear. I put four coats of clear on top of that. Once it was flashed off completely after two days, I believe I let it sit. I sanded it back down with 600. Then I masked off everything around here again and I airbrushed all the details inside here on both sides as well as all the other pieces. Now I'm fixing to clear coat it one more time, sand it down again, and I'm going to cover these up now because I want to create a drop shadow all around this. And when I spray, I don't want to put spray back on top here anymore. I mean, I might find little spots to touch up, but for the most part, when I spray this drop shadow, I don't want to put no more paint on here because I don't want to cover up my metal flake. I want it to still pop and shine. It's going to look really cool when the clear is on there. You'll see. As far as this goes, we're going to airbrush a pretty cool project. I'm going to give you a little little sneak peek to what we're going to be doing. I don't want you to get intimidated by this because if you've never airbrushed before, trust me, once you see how this is, process is done, you're going to feel like you can do it. And guess what? You can. Just go buy you an airbrush and begin. I'm going to tell you exactly step by step what I'm going to be doing, which airbrush I'm going to be using, how much PSIs I'll be using it at, and it's going to be really cool. So you ready? This is what's going on there. On this side here, it's going to be this picture right here. Yes, sir. That is the Lone Ranger. And on this side here, his horse. Not that friendly, smiling Lone Ranger, but this one here of him and the horse. They're going to go on there somehow, some way. I'm not sure yet, but we'll figure it out. But we know that's going on the trunk lid. Yep, it's going to be pretty cool. That guy right there. All right. So, yeah, I'm excited. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. It's going to be fun. Uh, I'm not going to do a whole long drawn out video because it is going to take time to airbrush this, but we will do like a time lapse and I'll talk to you down through it, how we're going to do it. It's going to be really cool. Uh, I'm really excited. I get to start from the beginning on it and I'll get to finish it with you guys. So please stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe, like it. I can't stress that enough. It really helps out. Drop a comment. Tell me what you think. The process, what we're going to do is going to be an interesting process. You'll feel like you can do it. And again, you can do it. So stay tuned. We're going to get this thing going. I'm going to go ahead and get this thing cleared. I'm going to tape these off. I'll show you how to do that. It's really easy. We're just going to, once we clear it and we sand it down, I'm just going to cover it up with this tape here. And I'm going to get an X-Acto knife with a brand new blade because you don't want to dig too deep. And we're going to cut. We're going to see this project through the tape. So we're going to be able to cut around our project. And we're going to mask that off. And we're going to airbrush around it. So let's get this thing going. First things first, you want to find the picture that you want to airbrush and you want to enlarge it to the desired size that you want to airbrush it in. We're actually going to cut little pieces out like in our dark spots, like in here. We're going to want to cut out something in here. We're going to want to cut out right in here. We're going to cut out a little section like right here. I'm going to cut and I'm going to follow this line and I'm going to stop and then I'm going to cut out right along in here and I'm going to cut like that and I'm going to stop and I'm going to take this piece out. I'm going to do that throughout the whole entire picture. I'm going to cut out my little dark spots. I'm going to cut out little dark spots. I'm going to cut an outline and I'm going to cut on this side. Not on this side because it's lighter. I want to cut on this side because once I cut out all my little spots all around the whole entire picture, I'm going to get the
paint and I'm going to spray through my pattern and that's going to give us an outline, a general outline of where things need to be. I'm not going to cut this entire mask out because of course his eyes will fall out. I'm just going to cut along the edge of the mask just where little, little spots I can get reference and we're going to freehand the rest but we're going to cut enough out to where it's going to give you a pretty good outline around the entire project. I'm going to get another copy. I made four to five copies. I've got another one and on the second copy what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut the entire outline of him out. Once I cut the entire outline of him out that's going to give us the outside picture of him. So whenever you make copies and you do this method you want to cut you at least four to five copies. So I'm going to cut one out of him completely because that's what I'm going to use as a mask when I cover down if I want to put a shadow around him we'll put it down I'll spray around them I'll explain more as I go I'm just trying to give you a general idea of what we're gonna be doing and then the next copy might be for different cuts that I couldn't cut on the first one you know because it's maybe it's too close from here to here like I need these cuts and not these cuts so what I'm gonna do is I try to generally get all my cuts out of one page I try not to move papers too many times because sometimes it's hard trying to line things up but I'll just pretty much cut everything out of here and then we're just gonna freehand airbrush like like you're using a like you're using a crayon, guys. We're gonna be we're gonna instead of coloring in with a pencil though, we're gonna be using an airbrush. So and on the third copy, you know, I'm just gonna have him posted up as a reference guide, something we can look at. So we're gonna go ahead and get to work and we're gonna get this thing cut up and I'll show you what it's gonna look like when we're done. okay guys so this is it pretty much cut out you see all our pieces are cut out let's see help you out a little bit so you can see the back see a little bit better you see we basically made an outline of everything around the eyes we just kind of got around the actual eyeball itself these lines are just reference lines to know where the mask at this is gonna leave a hard edge in here so we're not gonna go everything dark remember we're gonna go over it lightly I'll show you that as we spray this is the shadow under the mouth this is the line in the lips the shadow under the nose and of course his little nostrils it's the bandana around his neck the shadow around the bullets we're going to, have to detail all the bullets it's gonna all have to be done freehand this is just to get you an outline do where things cut out now okay guys so this is the actual trunk lid taped off our patterns are taped off we're gonna actually just try to find placement of these pictures what we're gonna do where we're gonna put them at I'm kinda happy with this right here how I'm gonna do it I want him on the left I'm gonna do the horse on the right we're gonna do some drop shadows and all that type of good stuff right now we're just gonna be turning our airbrush and our PSI down to about 15 12 to 15 PSI as you can see there it's barely coming out we just want it enough to come out to where it lightly dust inward the spots we had cut out see how light that is 
we don't want to go any darker than that because when you start leaving dark lines it's hard to get rid of them and what you eventually have to do is spray white over it to you know cover it up you don't want to try to wipe it off or nothing like that you're gonna actually have to spray over to fix the fix the problem so we're trying to avoid all that so again we're just gonna dust it on 12 to 15 psi's uh, low enough to where it doesn't sputter out and leave dots of paint but not so high either where it's just blasting the paint out around the face is really important because we know that there's not actual lines in the face so we gotta take it easy in there and just dust it on light everywhere you cut out just needs to be sprayed light right there you have to kind of walk your fingers because there's like some curves in there on that little trunk lid and that little that little area right there so you gotta use your fingers walk it around get your outline on there there it is it's all you need it's all gonna be freehand don't be intimidated because it's a portrait if you feel like you want to learn how to airbrush this is how i was told at the beginning you got to just jump out there and you got to do it everything's downhill after that once you get this down you can airbrush anything it's just some people don't want to do it it's just you got to pretend like it's a big crayon you're just going to color in here's your outline now get after it and spray now that we've got all the outline going in of the inside part of the picture now we're going to actually outline the outside of it this is your other your other copy that's why i said it's important to make multiple copies so actual copy all the way around we're going to shadow all the way around so we can have an outline of our actual picture and a guide to, to go by same thing gotta walk your fingers you don't want too much of that under spray right there on top those lines across i'm probably going to cut into those and take those off of there because i want to airbrush to set that on top on his arm right there we're going to spray around the edge even though it's on the tape now i'm not going to cut into that part it's going to sit on top so we're going to make it look like it's over and under hat over arm under but you still got to spray so you can have your outline i forgot that little piece right there i had to cut that out And that's pretty much that's pretty much it guys you're gonna take it off and that's what we have right now that's what we have to go by there's our outline we're fixing to get after it we're loaded up with some paint we have three different types of paint we have a, a darker paint a medium and a light and we're just gonna just take it head on and we're gonna airbrush it and i'm gonna try to teach you guys as much as i can it's gonna be hard trying to do a visual because i'm not just really I haven't really got the camera the way I want it to and set up. I have a head mount, chest mount, and I'm just trying to get it to where it's going to work properly. So just bear with me on that. I'm still trying to work out the kinks on camera views and angles and all that. But I will do this from beginning to end and help you guys as much as possible. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments or you can inbox me directly through my email. It will be in the description box down below. Make sure you subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. And hit the bell for all notifications. Until next time, guys, God bless.